Well, said I was going to do it. I don't know why I said I was going to do it, but I said I was going to do something. And now I'm going to go do it. Need to go. Do you notice how it looks like these two candelabras are sticking out of my... Um, let's start over. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to <laughs> The Diaries. Well, welcome back to those of you who didn't leave after the Q&A. And uh, we have many things going on here. Uh, first of all, you know, I told you the other day that the uh, my tripod had died. One of the legs was not on. And now uh, it is, this is as high as it goes, is where it's at right now. Well, <laughs> one of my green screen stands did just about the exact same thing. The only difference is the green screen stand I think I can fix, but the tripod I'm going to have to probably replace. So that's one thing. Yeah, hooray. More broken stuff. Um, there was a prop I said I was going to work on, uh, I think the last episode, and I wasn't able to get to it. We're going to get to it, and I have a new prop that deals with this big-ass teddy bear. Yeah! And that's for a film short coming up sometime, uh, <laughs> this year. Um... And, uh, I had, so, oh, and then out on the Adventureland porch, I want to clear off the bench area and redo that so it looks awesome. And my poor Boris, man, he is having a rough time. He fell off the, uh, his perch again. Now, that's Boris, not, not this guy up here that you can't see because the light's in the way. Not him. Boris is the one who sits over the front door. Yeah, he came down again, and uh, he landed, this is like the third time he's landed on his face. Just, <laughs> so, I have to uh, kind of take care of him too. So, there's a bunch of little things that need to be done, and um, something else that I'm thinking of that might happen in this episode also. And, the best part is, this intro is under three minutes, and we're going <laughs> to end it right there. Because there's nothing else that uh, I need to say, obviously, because I just said something that was nothing else that I needed to say. So, without any further ado, let's get going. Okay, so the thing is this one. Here's the stand, okay? This is for the green screen. And when you raise it up, it's supposed to go up so far, and this one just keeps going. So what happened was, if you look at the base of this, you see it's not round. It's supposed to sip, 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 sit inside another rod that has dropped down in here. So what I have to do is take this bottom, this one here, off entirely. It's held in with a Phillips screw. And a little nut. Perfect. All right, I got the screw taken out. This and this, and this should come off, and it did. Hello. Now the question is, <laughs> oh, where's that last part? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, it's on the end. Right here. There's this. And it should. There it 
it is. Voila. So let's lower this. And it looks like the bottom part, where the screw comes out, like below, um, yeah, the screw is loose. That's why it fell through. May have to put a wedge in there. Oh no, there it goes. And you can say heck so agree with us, man. She is fixed. Well, that of all the tasks that need to be done was probably the easiest. I'm sure it was. Got a boxes here, and this one. <laughs> I got the boxes here, and this one um, actually came from USPS. Um, I know what I, what it's supposed to be, but again, weird box size. So let's find out. Shall we find out? I think we should find out. I know I need to find out because if it's what it should be, then it's something that I need for the band. Like a lot of things are these days. And there's no, uh, no message on the box. I mean, there's no label on the box to tell us anything. See? It's got copy paper. It's got, good Lord. Three bags of candy, so we know it's from Sweetwater. Why did they send three? I put a little joke on my uh, tag when I sent it. It said, don't forget the Smarties. And they sent three packages, and each one has Smarties in it, so that was sweet. And they fell right off, right off of the table I put them on. Guys, come on, really? All right. Different shiny pink packages. These are guitar strings. <laughs> um, your Ernie Ball Super Slinky, which I generally use. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. We have broken a lot of strings recently. And there should be, yep. In the bottom, a little thank you note, and another Sweetwater sticker. I have an awful lot of these. <clears throat> I really should put that on or something. And more poppy paper. I don't know why we call this poppy paper. It's not paper, obviously. It's plastic. I like to see who it does. Oh, no poppy, okay. I like to see you with a pop, 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 pop. Oh, ah, e. Much. Oh, no. All right. So, <clears throat> the good news is strings. The bad news is now I got to put them on the guitars. And any guitarist will tell you the one thing that they really do not enjoy doing is replacing strings. I'm gonna introduce you to somebody. This 
It's Teddy Bear. He's not a teddy bear. He's Teddy Bear. Because this monster is going to be a prop for a film project, a short. And I'm thinking I might use him as a prop for um, Halloween this year, too. Yes, I'm actually starting working on my Halloween ideas. And I think the teddy bear is liable to be in there somewhere. Now, what my plan is, is to open them up back here uh, using some of the old tricks that I use for PVC for Weevil Fester and so forth. I want to make them a little bit articulated and able to stand up. Because right now, he's a teddy bear on the floor. <laughs> And he doesn't even sit up on the floor. You put him down, he goes, like that. Literally makes that noise. Check it out. I'm going to put him down, and I'll show you. Here, see, I'm going to move the camera so you can see. I put him down, and he just, yeah. So, um, that's one of the few times I got to see my floor, and my floor is not looking its best right at the moment. Anyway. So that's the plan for Teddy Bear. Um, and I'm going to take, remember a couple of years ago for Halloween I did that Scarecrow? Scarecrow was really popular. But unfortunately I built them for like one time. And then uh, out here beyond the realms of the uh, manor where I used to put up my Halloween displays before I start moving them inside. For some reason, they feel that is the time to just put the sprinklers on to run and run and run and run. This is October. In September, we have monsoons. So the lawn's already destroyed and, and they're out there watering it some more. Anyway, I wanted to do something with that scarecrow. I have not taken them apart yet. I almost did. I came this close to taking it apart um, when I was cleaning up the. Uh, storage unit, but I'm gonna, I think I have an idea for that. I've got to find some space somewhere um, and I'm thinking I was actually thinking of of getting one of those um, uh, you know monthly uh, storage things but they're so costly and um, I'm trying to cut down on expenses more than anything so uh, but that's what's gonna happen with the big stuffed animal down here which I called him that because I didn't want to say Teddy Bear <laughs> anymore. I possess many stringed instruments. I have one, two, three, four, five, five electric guitars, um, two acoustic guitars, one full size, one uh, half size, a mandolin, uh, a cigar box guitar, and a dulcimer. And then I have three basses. <clears throat> Three, or a four string, a three string, a four string, a five string, and a six string. Of all of these fiddles that I have, all of these axes, all these things, whatever you want to call them, you know, for slang, two of them need to have their strings replaced. I love playing music. I hate changing strings. Oh, God, I hate changing strings. Because when I change strings, aside from the fact that it's time consuming and I always poke several holes in my fingers, when I change the strings on a guitar, I have to retune it, and I put it on the tuner and discover that not only do I need to tune that guitar, but I have to tune all of the guitars, because over time and use, they have slowly gotten out of tune. This is annoying! Um, but it's one of those things that I guess has got to be done. So, what I have to restring, I have the Austin, which is a, um, a Strat copy. And then I have my Epiphone Les Paul, uh, which is the one that you saw me rebuild many episodes ago. Um, and those are the two that need the new strings. Now, this is the thing. <laughs> the Austin, being a Strat copy, is a bluesy guitar. It has a specific sound. The Epiphone Les Paul is a, definitely a rock guitar. And when I went to change out the strings. Generally, I use um, ground and wound strings for ground for the 
the um, bluesy sound and wound for the rock sound and it makes a world of a difference however I have had a, an issue with the finances like I haven't got a lot of it so I just got super slinkies for everything and um, I am hoping hoping beyond hope that um, they will produce the proper sound that I want for each of those two guitars. Of course, everything runs through the Marshall, and I can make that amp sound clean as crystal, and I can make it sound dirtier than dirt in a dirt pile of dirt. So, um, <sighs> can you tell I'm procrastinating changing these strings? I am really procrastinating. Alright, so we gotta measure the distance from right about the crown here to about, I don't know, six inches below the top of the head. So when we put our skeleton shaft in there, it will reach the top without making his head become pointed. So we're looking at about 17, 18 inches. So that's how tall we want this top part. My head is missing. We want this top part to be. So about 18 inches from the connector at the shoulders to the head. So right about there. Now for some reason, today decided to be kind of warm. Not as warm as it'll be in the summertime, but <laughs> close. And I am wearing a hat instead of tying my hair back. So there is a sweat factor going on here. That will not be coming in. The quarter inch to half inch reducer. I'm going to need to glue those in because they'll come right out. Maybe they'll come right out. Put this on your arm. Hold it right there. You can hold the bear up straight. And then the control port will be right here. <coughs> now, the one thing is this has to be able to come apart. <laughs> because uh, otherwise, this is going to be a big thing sticking in the way quite often. Because, well, it is a bit warm out here. And, uh, it's not really late in the day, but I got some other stuff I got to do, as you well know. So I'm going to put this on hold for the time being, and um, we'll get back to it very soon. Listen to the mystic tones from beyond. Uh, that's a PlayStation. And you probably know that. If you own a PS4, you know what that sound is. Anyway, so I got to notice today that the building, Dark Slate Manor and all of the surrounding settlements are going to be repainted. Which means <laughs> I have to take out the Adventureland porch. The whole thing has to come out so they can paint. Mm. Is this a bad thing? <laughs> Not really, no. And I'll tell you why. Because I have been saying for the last 
many episodes, I need to redo that thing. I need to clean up the plants. I need to move things around. I need to change it. Now I am going to be forced to do it. I don't have a choice. So over the course of the next couple of weeks, because hopefully it'll take that long before they get here, I'm going to take everything off of the Adventureland porch with the exception of the uh, cabinet. The cabinet, which you cannot even see anymore, is buried under a bunch of foliage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, pull the foliage out first. And I may do that within the next few days. I'm going to pull the foliage out first. Then I'm going to pull out the, um, the speaker. I have to disconnect all of that. Actually, I don't have to disconnect it, but I do have to reel all the cable in. I'm going to have to bring that in. I'll put that in here somewhere. Then I have the um, two trees, which I don't know where I'm going to put them, but I'll put them somewhere. Um, then I have to take out the fountains. Then I have to take out the awning. That is going to be a bear. The awning I'm probably going to take out on the day that they paint. And I can either... I don't have room to bring it in here. But I can probably put it out on the other side of the fence. Then the uh, cabinet I'm going to move to the center of the uh, porch and cover it with a tarp. And that should be good enough. All of this is going to happen in a relatively short period of time apparently so hey if I didn't have things to do with the Adventureland porch before I sure do now don't I that's very exciting but again like I said it was something I was going to do when I got around to it right <laughs> yeah well now someone else has decided it's time for me to get around to it so um that is going to be coming up over the course of the next, uh, probably next episode. I don't know if any of it will be on this one. It will at least be on the next one, um, depending upon how soon they get here. Now, I am in the first stage, or first phase of this project. Here is the thing I was looking for. I am in the first phase of this project. Um... They're starting at building one and working their way back. There are 11 buildings in the village of Darkslade. And um, I act like, you know, I'm in control of all this. And it's <laughs> Anyway, there's 11 buildings and Darkslade Manor happens to be in building number four. So we're not the first to get nailed. We are going to be in that zone pretty quickly though. So um, yeah, so that is what is going to happen. I'm recording this on my phone as opposed to the camera this time. I'm at Desert Ridge. I have come here to sit in front of the fountain and relax and just kind of let everything go away. So far it has been functioning properly and uh, it'll be a short moment but it's nice to just unwind and not have to worry or think about anything. But I will show you something. I can totally relate to this bird. Okay, so at the risk of getting teddy bear guts all over my work table, there is a seam 
right in this area here. And I need to make a cut about, well, I don't know, maybe about this long. And I will be um, Velcroing it, or putting Velcro strap on either side so I can close it up. But here goes nothing. And with this knife, it's probably true. We got a certain patina thing going on. Okay, that part was successful, more or less. The trick will be getting this beast tucked in there. Hmm, guess it wasn't that big of a trick after all. Well, this is from a different angle, and I got my glasses on, and I got the going on with jab balls. Um, I had the camera sitting down on my uh, on my desk, and I <laughs> I'm using the uh, little tripod that I used on my last road trip, the Disneyland trip, and um, I forgot I still had it. So what the heck? I'll take it out, put it up. Makes it easier while I'm editing. In any case, um, as far as the bear is concerned, you don't get to see what happens yet because that's going to be on the next episode because i got to wrap this one up. I was just looking at the today's date and I was like, okay, I want to get this out before May. I do, before May, like in April because the last one came out in March. So um, I'm going to wrap this uh, episode up. In the next episode, we'll have the rest of the bear, uh, along with a few other things that um, I know are coming up. I have uh, something, one item? No. Yeah, one or two items that are coming in still. Um, and uh, we need to clear off entirely the Adventureland porch. So the painters can come in and paint it. Now I don't know if that will be happening. I don't know exactly when that's going to be happening. I think it's going to be happening in May. It will probably happen right on my birthday around the 4th. right? But um, it's going to be happening in May. I think it's going to be happening in May. And uh, if that happens that will go on the next episode too. Uh, as well as finishing up the spare. And a new uh, uh, project update for a game. Hopefully I'll be finishing the other one by the end of April, May, June, by the end of June. And also, theoretically in June, one of two things is going to happen. Either I will be teaching at Yavapai College for Kids, um, if they actually go through with it this year, or <clears throat> I will be going on a trip to Florida to visit my daughter, which means uh, I will be filming a whole bunch of junk because we'll be going I know we're going to Disney World of course I've never been there so it'll be exciting for me um, I checked to make sure they had some mini golf courses they have lots of mini golf courses they have a real nice one where they live and uh, what other ever other other ever ever about things go on while I'm out there so um, that's going to be happening a little bit further down the road but Next episode will be mostly what I said the next episode would be. Uh, yeah. In the meantime, you guys have yourselves a great several weeks. And uh, you know what? Before I sign out, I'm going to try, I'm going to do my dad gummist to get the next episode out within the next two weeks instead of the next month like it's been going. Um, so... If I make the episode shorter, I can get more out and do them, you know, more frequently so they're a little bit, you know, so you have a little bit more entertainment from me. <laughs> what more could you ask for? I can think of a lot of things anyway. So um, we'll see uh, if I can pull that off. That would be awesome because these used to come out about every week, week and a half. And yeah, now they, you know, hmm. 
And that's not good, in my opinion. In any case, you guys have yourselves a great couple of weeks. End of line.